Hey, this is Mark, and today I'm going to be changing the TriStar or U2 chip on an iPhone 5C. Uh, so this is this is one of the few times where I get to change TriStar and actually refer to it as U2, and that's correct. Um, it's the uh, the 5 was the first iPhone that had a TriStar chip, um, which is uh, involved in recognizing um, things that are plugged into the lightning port. Uh, and, and the position in the schematic is U2 in the iPhone 5, and incidentally also the 5S and 5C. Um, so when, you know, that chip started failing, and people started having to replace it, um, everybody just kind of started calling it the U2 chip. Um, but in every other device besides these three phones, it is not U2, it's U1300 or U1700. Um, so I've always kind of pushed for the community to refer to these chips by their names, um, just because it, it makes it easier when you're asking for help. Um, you know, U2 kind of, I know what, I know you mean TriStar, but, you know, U3 on this phone is Chestnut. Um, but, you know, if you say Chestnut, I'll know you're talking about Chestnut. If you say, uh, you know, U3000 in the iPhone 6S, I'm not going to have any idea what you're talking about. Um, so, yeah, just as a general rule, if, if a chip has a name in the schematic, <clears throat> in the schematic, refer to it by the name. Uh, so I guess as you can see I am um, removing the shield off the back of this and I neglected to take the tip off my hot air before I started so that took way longer than it should have. Alright, so here we are. iPhone 5C U2 or TriStar replacement. So this is the guy here, a uh, 1610 A1. Um, I'm going to replace that with a 1610 A3. Just getting the new one ready to put on there. So I'm going to come in, just put a little bit of flux in here. So the symptoms of this phone were um, of course, it was completely dead and would not take any kind of a charge. Um, and what's interesting is when I first got into this board level repair, um, the, these, they would, they were easy to diagnose because um, if you connected a charged battery, they would always boot up. So, you know, it, it comes in, um, you know, a completely dead phone, and you uh, hook it up to a charger, and it check, you know, see if it's consuming current. It's not consuming any current. And then you put a charged battery in, you know, something that's got at least 3.8 volts, and it'll boot right up. And then, you know, that, that is always TriStar. Um, but what's interesting is, it, it seems like over time um, changes that Apple has made to the software to iOS has changed the way that these phones behave before they're even booting um, so now this one when I tested it with a charged battery it it wouldn't boot uh, I would get the Apple logo but then it would just boot loop um, so, you know, that's, that's kind of weird. Um, it's not, not the way it used to be. Um, so, 
I'm not even, you know, because of that, I'm not even entirely sure that changing TriStar is going to solve the problem. Um, but we'll see. All right, that should do it. I uh, just need to let it cool down a little bit. And we'll see if it will charge this battery. I guess, uh, <laughs> As usual, you're just going to have to take my word for it on whether or not this is charging. Because I still don't have a second camera set up. Um, sometime in the next six months I'm going to invest a little more. But yeah, charging now up to 0.8 amps. Um, so that that is acceptable. Uh, Alright, so that's all there is to it. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and record me putting the shield back on because I, I don't think I've ever put that in a video. And I know I've seen people ask about that before. So um, I like to just, just kind of go over it with an iron on all these joints. Just holding it here. Better to use a pair of tweezers for this part and basically just go over and, and reflow all these joints it's a little bit tedious but um, yeah I don't mind had some people lately sending me messages requesting more live streams um, which I, I plan to do more in the future um, but I can't right now because of the camera setup the way that I've got it um, I get better video through the microscope when I'm using um, my Canon and you know just recording with the with the uh, you know DSLR and recording right on to the SD card that's in it um, but that that doesn't really work well for streaming um, so the plan is this year sometime in the next six months or so to get one of those nice fancy HD microscope cameras and that will be dedicated to microscope of course and then I'll use my Canon um, and the HDMI output on that um, to kind of point at me which <laughs> that means I'll have to start wearing shirts while I'm working at night um, anyways that along with a uh, dual HDMI input capture card so that's on my wish list. It's on my to-do list. Just uh, the four dollars a month <laughs> I make off of YouTube um, doesn't really justify me investing right this minute, especially during the slow months. Um, but all right, so there we have it. I probably missed a couple of joints, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but that's how I put the shield back on, and that's how we change TriStar in a 5C. Thanks for watching.